Well, my, my frank reaction to that is that we consider that the European Commission is not being proactive enough. <laughs> When we are talking about democracy, when we are talking about fundamental human rights, when we are talking even of rule of law, we are talking of the most fundamental values of what makes us European. Mm. The fundamental values of the European Union is also enshrined in Article 2 of the Treaty on the European Union. Now, I can understand that the Commission would wish always to interact first with the governments of the respective countries. I can also understand the desirability of having a mechanism which is first and foremost based on dialogue with those governments. But then we need also to ensure that the citizens of our respective countries are looking towards Europe as that entity, as that institution, as that even conglomeration of countries together that is there to defend our rights. And we do not see it. So our emphasis from a Malta perspective, and I say that as a person, of course, who would speak for the benefit of my country. This is not a question of coming to European institutions and filing a report or complaining about the government, but this is a question of coming to the European Union and standing up in favour of the people whom we represent. Episodes that have been happening in Malta, not least the recent horrible assassination of our leading and most investigative journalist, Daphne Caruana Galizia, Fine. We are told by the Commission that now our eyes are on Malta. <laughs> Had the Commission noticed certain symptoms even earlier, then perhaps we would not be at this stage now. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to see a more proactive European Commission. And of course, I agree, we need uh, mechanisms which safeguard our rights, which are more effective, which are more usable, and which are more immediate. I mean, if you look at the case of Malta, for instance, the attack on the rule of law, in my opinion, has been systemic now for quite some time. Appointment of new members of the judiciary simply on the basis, by and large, not necessarily always, of strong affiliation to the political party in office. Mm -hmm. The whole question of, for instance, the lack of trust in the commissioner of police. We have at the moment in Malta, in the period of four years, the fifth commissioner of police that has been appointed. Why did we have to go to five different appointments? Well, because finally there is one commissioner who would simply not act if he is placed in a situation where he is in receipt of a report by our financial intelligence analysis unit mm -hmm. that pinpoints definite money laundering mechanisms adopted by a minister of government and by a chief of staff within the office of the Prime Minister. Now, this is just to give examples. And, of course, we have the assassination of the journalist who was exposing one scandal after another. And now she has been silenced. There is a debate in Malta. Has she been silenced over what she had already written? Or has she been silenced also to prevent her from revealing new cases and further episodes which are very serious to proper governance of a country. Either way, had there been structures in place that acted upon her reports, then probably she would be still around, carrying out her duty as an investigative journalist, which reminds me again of another concept of rule of law. When we talk, her freedom of expression has been suppressed. Mm -hmm. I always go further, even in legal terms. And I say it is the freedom of expression of all the people of Malta that has been suppressed. Because freedom of expression is not merely my freedom to be here today and speak out my mind, but it's the freedom of your viewers to listen to me or not to listen to me, yeah. to follow. That's freedom of expression in European terms. The freedom of expression of the people of Malta has been suppressed because all those who wanted to follow this journalist can no can longer no do longer it. Do it uh, and and well, is that a serious enough case for European Union to be more effective? I would like to think it is.